Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have Mr. Tarantula Cat here and we are doing one of my favorite kind of videos. Lift it with me. Okay. Unboxings. <laughs> try it again, try it again. <laughs> Right. Unboxings. So this unboxing is from Tom Patterson, who is one of my favorites to order from. He always has some of the most rare, unique stuff. And today's video is no exception. We have four jumping spiders in here and one recluse. And I know you're probably thinking like, Pat, you already have a ton of jumping spiders and a whole family of brown recluse. That may be true, but these are all different species. We'll talk a little bit more about it, but I guess let's just get right into it. You're doing it wrong. What do you mean? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do it to where the camera can see. Thinking of those angles. Nice. You're a pro. So we have Phidippus clarus. That's the male. Phidippus clarus, this is the female. And I was told these two are smaller and faster than the Phidippus regius. Phidippus texanus, female. And a Phidippus texanus, male. Oh my god, I'm so stoked to try breeding these. Oh, Tom, you followed directions. Grab that little vial right there. All right, let's take a second to talk a little bit about this. This is the Loxicellis simulama. Similama. So I told him to put it in a vial with the paper towel so that I wouldn't have to rehouse it, but I think I might need to pull some of this paper towel out because there's a lot of paper towel. I don't see it. Schrodinger spider, you don't know if it's in there or not. Can you imagine? Wait, <laughs> there's another? Oh my God, hand me that vial. No. <laughs> He sent me a female and a male. We will not be breeding these, just so we're clear. The female's probably already been paired. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> a hair just touched my leg and I instantly was like, it's a recluse. <gasps> Yay, goth camel spider stickers. Very cute. I miss goth camel spider very much. Proceed, please, good sir. Seems to say anything else. Hot sauce. I don't even know where to start. So I'm definitely gonna wanna open these in a tub to investigate a little bit further. So we'll do those last, especially cause I'm kind of scared of them. So as for the jumping spiders, I just prepared them a little bit by putting substrate and leaf litter in them. But now we're gonna have to decorate, which I brought a bunch of stuff out here to decorate with. I don't think we're gonna do any live plants. I haven't had the best luck using live plants for my jumping spiders. So I guess let's start by decorating the enclosure. And the first thing I wanna use is this really cool piece of spider wood. I love this. I'll decorate this one and then you'll do the next one and then I'll do the next one and then you'll do the next one. Deal. Oh, okay. Let's see. I'm not going to go like too out on this. I do like this crystal. I had this crystal in with matcha. It's really pretty. So I'll put it back in here with whoever is going to go in here. I think I'll put the Phidippus claris in here. Yeah, we should probably make sure that these enclosures aren't too big actually before I commit. Commit. Yeah. Um, I'm nervous just because he said they're faster. Here's the catch cup. <laughs> Maybe I should like open it like in the catch cup probably. Oh, it's cute. Okay, I can see it. And it's definitely alive. It definitely seems like it's ready to take off. Do you guys see the little face? Oh my gosh, it's super cute. All right, so I am actually just going to directly put her in here, but I do feel like maybe she needs a little bit more coverage. Just because she's so small, I want her to feel like secure. I might just do this. That helps. Okay, here is the enclosure and let's just pop her right in as long as she will go. Oh. Right behind that. Unfortunately, we did not get the best look at her, but she's really cute. And yeah, so next up, we will do the mail. And now you can do this one. Oh boy. Are you gonna rehouse it yourself or do you want me to? I mean, I can try. Okay, don't, maybe, you know what, let's do the Texanus. I'll do both the Claris and you can do both the Texanus because they're bigger. Oh, okay. Um, here's my, all my stuff. There's um, rocks and 
spider wood and um, I got the Choya, I think it's called Choya or something, wood. Yeah, Choya wood, yeah. Because I want a lot of little holes here. Yeah, I also got this, which I don't know, it might be too big. I'm gonna be the interior design specialist today. Can I suggest something? What's that? <laughs> okay, so what I would do is I would get a big piece of cork or something, like one big main piece for them. Like that's fine, but I would also like do maybe like a big piece of cork here or something. Okay. Just like one main big thing that they can for sure hide in and then like the little details after. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. That's actually really smart. So this is the male. I wonder if the males are bigger than the females because that's the case for Phidippus Rebius. Can I add a log? Yeah, you can add a log. Log. It's a nice little log. Here is the male. He seems very comfortable all the way down there. Does not look much bigger at all. Oh, he is bigger. He is bigger for sure. Oh, and he's getting ready to take off. There he goes. <laughs> they just disappear before I can even like really film them. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know how I would even film, like, photograph these guys. Oh, right into the wood, right? Nope. Nope. Do you guys see how quick these are? Tom was not kidding. I'm glad he warned me because I probably would have pulled them out. Oh, very bad. <laughs> He's so fast. There we go. Oh, that, that, yes, you can see now. I love the red on his butt. Next is the Phidippus Texanus, and it's my turn to decorate an enclosure. Like this. Nice hidey hole. It is, I wonder if I can get it to stay. All right, yeah, I think this is gonna be a pretty good enclosure. This has like a hole they can hide in, and let me make sure she's okay. She is, it's precious. She's just like ever so slightly peeking out. Wow, she's really pretty. Tom told me these look like Phidippus regius, and they do, but I can definitely tell this is a different species. Look at her, oh my gosh, what should we name her? Jumping spiders always need names, so comment some down below if you have ideas for any of these. Hi. Oh, I love it. Oop, it's out of focus. Wow, dude, this is so cool. She is for sure way different looking than the Regius. I'm actually just gonna let her come out. Unless here, you wanna you wanna help her? So all you have to do is just kind of give her a little poke. On her toes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there she is. Oh yeah, she does look different. Yeah. She's really cool looking. Thank you, Tom. All right. Mr. Tarantula Cat, it's all yours. All right. This male too, this is the one you're rehousing. He's already got his legs poking out like. Free me. Oh my God, it's his little face. It's so cute. <laughs> I think we're gonna go kind of similar we did with the other one. Might do the same thing. Recreate it. Yeah. Just, just make sure it's secure. We're gonna twist up this little bushel to make it kind of hold up just a little tighter. I'm gonna wedge it right in there. I don't know if that's too much cover or not. No, I mean, I'm sure if anything, he'll appreciate the extra coverage. Yeah. All right. It's Here a place to be. Uh, if I were you, you can do whatever you want, but if I were you, I would open it like this and just kind of pull the paper towel out and let him like go run and do his thing. Oh, okay. That's what I would do. So cute. I got a red little orange little butt. Oh, does he? <gasps> Whoa! That's a Texanus male? I did not know. No, that looks like a. Is that really? It's so cute. Whoa, that's crazy. He's 
pretty cool. You shouldn't eat him. Do you want me to give him a little tap or you got this? Theo, where's the, where did I put the brush? Uh, <laughs> you can just use the, uh, I mean, you can use your fingers for these guys, to be honest. Yeah. Feels very safe and secure on this towel. Yeah. It's probably gonna go right back under it. There you go. There's in. There you go. Good job. Yeah. All right, slide the lid on before he decides to bolt out. There we go. High five. Wow. Wow. You can really dance. So that was all the jumping spiders, but now we have the brown recluse. They're not really brown. I think I should handle this. <laughs> there you handle this. I think I should handle this. But thank you, Mr. Tarantula Cat, for your help. You're welcome. You're free to uh, just chill. And uh, let's let's mess with these recluse. I'll, I'll hang out by real close. Yeah, do it. Yeah, stand on standby. <laughs> <laughs> so brown recluse are notoriously bad at climbing smooth surfaces. So I'm hoping that it's the same case. I'm so not looking forward to this. They're gonna live in the containers for a while. That that was the plan to live in them forever. Tom, where is it? Where are them? I'm scared. What? Is it even there? When I said like, just put it in there with like paper towel, I meant to wear, it was like, you know, loose like this. Cause I mean, honestly, they would have been fine shipping around loose and. <sighs> okay, I have thought about this a little bit and I think I have a plan. So basically she has just been sitting on this paper towel. She's very content on it. Um, so I think we're just gonna keep her on paper towel. I don't know about this. <laughs> the game plan here is I'm going to cup her on the paper towel if if I can do it. How did he pack these without like being totally constressed? That's my question. She's coming out. Can you climb? This is this is what I'm worried about. This is what I need to know. Can you climb this? No. <sighs> okay, they can't climb. Let's get the mail out and then I will figure out if I'm going. I think I might just put some paper towels in these and keep them in these. I have to remove the mail next in order to do that. And I want to get you guys a close up of these because they are wild looking. They're super cool. But I'm also a little scared of them. So your legs are a lot different too. I can't believe he he did a mail too. I told him I just want one. They're communal. He was trying really hard for me to get a whole communal one. I said specifically I don't want babies because as you guys know, I have a bunch of brown recluse babies. Uh, uh, uh. My fingers are there. Yeah, this guy is huge. These are like bigger, I feel like, than the brown recluse. I'm gonna try the same thing here. Go in. Up. Try to get them down. Get down, sir, get down. I know you can't get traction on it. There we go. Ha ha, we did it. A male and a female, wow. Alright, so I have gotten a couple good close-ups of them and I will just go ahead and pop. There we 
there we go. And that is the kind of setup that Rick would do. Here, let me show you my brown recluse really quick so I can explain a little bit more. So this is one of my babies from uh, the female that I had. And yeah, these are the vials he sent me and then the paper towels. As you'll see, these are bigger. So these are like perfect for adults. Um, granted, this species definitely seems, I don't know if she's mature, but the male, oh my gosh, he is super duper leggy. So I don't know like if they get any bigger than the Loxicelli's recluse that I don't think by much if they do. This guy is definitely a little bit more bolty as males tend to be. So, oh, where did you go? Oh my God, so fast. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> much better. He probably feels much more secure now. Wow, okay, that was quite an unboxing. Here is everyone out looking around. <laughs> And then these two. So thank you so much, Tom, for another great unboxing. If you guys want to check out his list of availability, you can email him here. I will enter the email address on the screen so you can write it down. And yeah, so that's about it, I guess. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not. And you won't be. Don't forget I have an Instagram to use probably way too much. It's at trancha.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pick.